Hello, hello everybody. I'm running a couple minutes late, eight minutes to be exact, because I forgot to install the game. <laughs> so, uh, episode one just installed, so I was like, oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I do apologize for the tardiness tonight, but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, my name is Glitch, for those that don't know. Um, and yeah, we are going to get into a brand new game. Um, it's five episodes long, and I'm thinking about making it a Sunday night stream. Um, just to chill, just to dive into the madness of this game, if you will. Um, uh, as you can see in the title below, it is the council. Uh, doop. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know if the camera's gonna stay this big right now. I, d I don't know where to put it until I can figure out where to put it. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope everybody's day was going well. We're going to do episode one, The Mad Ones. I, I don't know anything about this game. I've seen the trailer for it back when it first came out, and I was like, I want to play this. So, um, I believe it to be a horror game. If not, then this is just going to be a boring story. <laughs> not really. But, you know, not all stories are like that, you know. But, yeah, let's get started. Uh, it is awfully quiet, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Okay, I guess, I guess we hit play. Ooh. France. What is going <coughs> on? Oh, child. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh, that's what going? you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Mm. Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. I don't know if that's the game or just how, Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Mm. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four, in hours. four hours. 
You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bob Orchard. Bob Orchard. Hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity hmm. you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Don't trust my mother. Please. Be my guest, mother. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. <laughs> you know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Bon Borchard. Interesting. One month later. Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide Presents. A game by Bad Wolf Studios. Har Har. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council Ooh, and his mother went missing. Episode one, the mad one. <sighs> The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. Okay, they are going to stop. Suit your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done mm -hmm. is think about it. What one may be able to imagine was Mr. Haste himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. Episode 2. We have been Download. since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt <laughs> quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. 
because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. Oh. Only a very few ever make it. I'm yeah, good. I imagine this must be your first time. I'm good. This island looks ridiculous. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this walk. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please oh. excuse me if you find me over. Hey, Pajama Ken, course. thank you for rejoining me first. How are you, Ken? You any embarrassment. Go Come ahead. Dodge it. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Uh, where do I go? Oh. I'm gonna put your name down, Ken. Good job. Ken. Oh, what's happening? Um, so everybody sees. Ooh, VIP. Get with it. Okay. Oh, what's happening? And then I'm gonna make it disappear because I want to put this on YouTube. Oh, what happened? So, okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes, I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Bitch, what's happened to your hand? Are you absolutely and your fish? sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, mother. No, no, no. What? Have you lost your mind? Good death of no I guess I'll re-edit. If, if you kill me, you won't Please do, Ken. I want to watch point, it. My dear, no one must ever put their hands on it again. No. <sighs> but I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, you got some this. big titties, girl. I'm sorry. Keep it. She had time. To, she did. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. The Duchess doesn't seem too... Duchessy? To if that's a word. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Yes, we need to find out what happened. But yes, she was fucked up. She was missing a hand. She did not look like when she, when we first left her. And on top of that, she killed the Duchess. Or who looked like the Duchess. I'll say that. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you. But we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh. I get to choose a class? This is so cool. Okay. I'm definitely glad this game was $4 on sale. <laughs> Just saying. Because <laughs> it it's originally 60 It was marked out to 40 It's been out for a while, though. So, <laughs> Diplomat. So if you choose a diplomat, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker, and he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. 
politics is his field of predelicitation. I don't know what that word is. I'm not about to fuck it up. Uh, okay, let's see. The occultist. The occultist is a master of deception, convinced of important knowledge. Convinced of the important knowledge he has acquired extensive expertise in science and arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Ooh, I like the occultist so far. And then the detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Ooh. So I get skills. Okay, so skills for diplomat. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. The occultist is manipulation, occultism, you, you, why did they have these big ass words? Who they think they did? Did, did they? Did someone graduate on top of the class in, in English? Because I don't know what these words is. Erudish, erudish, I don't know. Sciences and subterfuge. <laughs> These damn words. The detective has questioning vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. Ugh. I'm probably... Because these people seem very diplomatic. However, this one is pulling towards me. And the detective, I mean, obviously it'll probably make it easier to figure out what the fuck is going on with the detective. Um, oh, shit. And I, of course I go with the one that the most words I don't know. <laughs> uh, agility, though. Am I going to have to run away from somebody? Or it could be agility as in quick thinking, which is understandable for a detective. Oh, oh, oh. Do I want to be the master of manipulation? Or do I want to know etiquette and linguistics? <laughs> or do I want to figure out what the fuck going on? Um... I'm going to stick with my gut and go with the occultist. Oh, can you unlock shit? I have three. I now have seven ever effort points. Your past grants you manipulation. And your past has grants psychology. Okay. I don't know why I sent you that. You're in stream, but okay. Oh, episode four downloaded before three? Okay. This is not the end. Hold on one second. All right, uh, do I stick with, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the cultists. I mean, is this going to, oh, yeah, I'm going to stick with this. Oh, wait, hold on.
All right, let's go. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? What? Uh, did we meet? I don't know. She might be a bad bitch. I mean, not bad like in, oh my gosh, she's so good, but... Uh. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh my god. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing me, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If mm. you say so. Let's go with that, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Yeah. Right, to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals and skills. Used against in immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerables will give you one effort point back. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Vichy. I don't know where we're going right now. Okay. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Where are we going? Hold on. Royal Jelly. Okay. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, 
everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, hmm. rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, mm -hmm. none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep. And no one seems to have noticed anything at all. <coughs> they seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing there. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your oh, master? Oh, God. No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. I was Here not expecting to act like that. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Oh, Honestly, Jesus. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. I wasn't trying to leave. Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili, quantilia produncia mundus ergatio. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. So do I have to go back and look around? Floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. <sighs> hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Why does he look so crazy? Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, it's not coming up. I'll never manage. 
Sometimes you're barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Royal jelly. Is this royal jelly all over the place? Do the royals leave their jelly all over the place? Huh? Sounds really dirty. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Mm -hmm. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Royal jelly, ew. Yeah. More royal jelly. I bet I can use this crowbar or something. Oh. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book hmm. well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. You're crying out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? Look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Shit, those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and a powder puff. What does all this mean? Why do you look so crazy? An iron key completely rusted. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Okay. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. A Chinese coin. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. See what's hidden inside. Let's look. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Maybe the slight 
this idea of what it says. Yes, because I didn't choose one. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Probably a Dutchman. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most Godoy. I have been told that he is going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name. Okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Godoy, Godoy. Paul. <laughs> I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Sure, okay. Anything else? Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Apparently this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people mm. was eventual enough to write to the Pope in person. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Alright. Is that it? Try to get into this room. At least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. Hmm. None of it's telling me anything useful. A fragment of amber. A fragment oh, of amber. To storage for a lot of barrels. Uh huh. What have we here? Cannon powder. Hmm. The power's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. 
My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. <coughs> That's not normal. <coughs> and if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. Mm -hmm. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. Alright, let's go. Hopefully there's no royal jelly to step in. Mm-hmm. Oh. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Episode 3. That is something that you don't want to look at as soon as you step ah, into a house. <laughs> I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Dice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't mm -hmm. seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway. I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Well, thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church and her talents in battle. Hmm. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh. My mother and I, I don't know. the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem oh. that discretion is not one of your specialities. I fucked up, didn't I? You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. Fuck. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. God 
damn it. Do you think I should give it to you? Shit. Oh no, I don't know what to pick. I can't pick that one. God. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. No! Let's not accept it. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will Ugh, the last step of the confrontation. You must convince the person you are talking to to give a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you, or you have no blunders left. Ugh. God damn it. <laughs> Your eminence, that's just not possible for me. But why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. And I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honest. Listen, let's stop. Oh, it. thank you, Jesus. I got something right. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre. Organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all her convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Okay, that's okay. So basically, his mother. Okay, so we find out they're part of a golden order that does shit. And then she's been working with this priest to protect other priests from being killed off in sacrificing rituals or whatever so I would not have known that if I passed that because that kind of fucked me up with the whole Lies three blunders the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men open to Brutus's page Caesar stabbed by multiple blows at once sees Brutus raise the dagger on him then Covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Devil horn. Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. 
You temporarily see immunity and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice and conversation. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging reunions. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. Wow. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Yeah, especially that. I Saturn. thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simple. George Washington, president of the United States. That's Kingdom. George Washington? Delighted at last to make your acquaintance. Ciao. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras. Where are we at? It is an so... honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? All right, so George Washington was president between 1789 to 1797. So we're in some time in that period. <sighs> what were you talking about, if you forgive my... Oh, okay. Oh, nothing special. His eminence had an envelope to give to my mother, initially. Because your mother was supposed to join us. That's right. She arrived a few weeks ago. Several weeks at Lord Mortimer's. Hmm. She must be a special guest. I just missed out. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, You've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was that funny back in Seriously, the day? Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Come on. What the Come fuck? In, my friend. I'm Shit. failing. Bad. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned oh, up. No, it wasn't. Start. 
Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, he'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw it in my vision. Uh, so we're staying with Washington. Say, sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Oui. Thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. Okay. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tag down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington. You seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. Well, I need she her advice be now because I'm making terrible me. decisions. She deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumors served me well, such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again, or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Don't 
Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Who is that? And do you see how wide his eyes go? With all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal, but I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gagnero. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. No. Oh. I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who the artist of that painting there is. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. And the artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You'll find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Holt, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Hmm. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. I'm missing a lot of opportunities, apparently, by not having certain skills. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Oh. I know that name. Hold on. Duke Manuel Godoy. Piaggi. Piaggi. I see they don't have no royal jelly up in here. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Washington.
too. <laughs> Just running around the hallways. Oh, I have to go to bed. I can't just explore. Oh, can't go there. Oh, wait. Now I'm going around in circles. What is this? She leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Alright. I guess I should go to bed. Napoleon's here? Wow. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Alright, so it is one big circle. So I think my room is right here. Child, look at this right. room. But what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What shall I do? Damn. I can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow! Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Mm -hmm. Golden Elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon oh. hope, all ye who enter here. I love the lectures that. Robert is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Like a mirror there. Okay. Something's supposed to happen. I'm assuming not. Okay. Oh, I guess this is bedtime for me. Complete a quiz with a quest. Okay. Oops.
Oh, you get to level up? Okay. Yeah, level two hoes. Okay, four points. So I need to learn diversion. I would like to know linguistics. Questioning. I'll learn saboteur. Oh, I guess I let me lose saboteur then. Uh, okay, the next. Okay. What's going on with your crazy ass eyes? Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. Eh? They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you there. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One hmm. last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat. Interesting. We never see his face. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. So Washington... Okay, what's going on? I'm coming. Did that just happen? Hurry to answer the door. Oh, wait, what's this? Dear Monsieur de Richet, 
Please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that could. I'm coming. I'm a coming. Keep knocking on that door and I'm a strangle you. There won't be no presence, president. <laughs> no. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? Oh, I put my clothes on, apparently, all of a sudden. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in this small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost story. Uh, Lord Jesus, I really want to know about Elizabeth, but... I'm sorry, George Sir, Washington. I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. Damn it! Strength on your objective. I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close. I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. I see. Tell me, my good man. Sir? I have an urgent letter to send. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Does the word urgent mean nothing to you? Yes, but the word liar also means something. That won't work, Lewis. Whose room is this? A guest. Apparently, a French soldier. All right. Perhaps I should change my approach. I don't... Uh... Listen, I'm an insomniac, and Sir Holm told me that you could go to the kitchen and make me a cup of herbal tea. And what is in this herbal tea, sir? Holm gave Washington a recipe for a sleeping drought. What was it again? Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. I, yes, it's herbal tea. I, I'll go and make it for you at once, sir. I'll wait for you in my room. Hmm. I need to find a place to watch undisturbed. Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer of Versailles. My dear son, I'm writing. Ah, 
this window opens onto the balcony. The other room must be on my right. S sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. Well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaign. I... Uh, I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So, the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are made. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. <laughs> of course. But from now on, you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well. I will seek him out. Ma'am. Oh, there's a lot of glitches. Uh. Well, I better get away from here. Uh, you remember this game? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but okay. Louis? Emily? I can explain. Perhaps, but remain s How do I? But, but. <laughs> okay. It's like telling me to use something. Wait, I can't use anything. First, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat. You have 10 seconds to explain your presence here. Emily, we both know you're not going to kill anyone this evening. Be careful. I might have to cut you off. Wait. Let's talk about this misunderstanding. What are you doing in my room? I, I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and- And I my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. What were you really doing on the balcony? Seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I've heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. <laughs> do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? Uh, I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details? A date? What they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? 
No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis. I might have overreacted a bit. Well, at least I passed that one. Yay. Please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. <laughs> Emily, are you... Good night, Louis. Oh, she's in a boosty. Oh, child, Lord. Go back to bed. Oh. Do I have the time to s help George Washington? Oh, I guess not. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you. After, give me one second. After you question me for like five hours. Happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on me. Have a good night. Hey, what's up, ghost? How you doing? By the way, give me. Let me get you a shout out. Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. Mortimer is better. What you up to, ghost? You out thought in the bottom? Bottom. How long is this episode? I, I wasn't anticipating this eps these episodes to be that long, but... Really? I cut you... Alright. So I made it successful. I could have helped. Divergent. Morning, I survived the night without any hoes killing me. All right, in my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Mm hmm.
Okay. Writing material. Ugh. I always never have the right tools. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Nothing. Devil's thorn. <laughs> A drachma. A drachma. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, hope for all you drink here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. I love Dante's Inferno. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way around. A Voyage Around the World. The travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Okay. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Okay, I need to I need to unlock this one. Not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. God, that picture is everywhere. Saturn eating the baby. St. Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. I hope that's not a yearn. What is it? There's a note. Effects of Sarah de Richie to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Yeah, no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Royal jelly. Uh -huh. hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. I see this pulls out. Look, markings on the floor. Mm, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. It does lead to a secret passage. See? But how to open it? God, really? Look. Markings on the floor. Mm, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Lame. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Hmm. Oh. Royal jelly. I 
haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richer, please excuse me. The inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. I must be missing something. This room looks unoccupied. Okay, there's coins everywhere. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. message using invisible ink. I bet you use a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Why don't you use that royal jelly that you've been finding all over the place? The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. What is going on with your eyes, bro, bro? Hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Saturn devouring his sun. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be a son. Ah, secret writing. Many people use this method for their secret correspondences. Light the flame and the ink appears. Message is written in lemon juice, the flame will appear. You put a lit candle in your pocket, bro? Okay. reveals the message. <coughs> Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And you keep their jelly to themselves? Yeah. What is my mother trying to tell me? I agree. If you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the red salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Oh. 
I don't have any, but I don't have any effort left. Chance. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. I'm using their jelly. I'm on leave four. No one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, my. Give me some of that royal. I, I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. These are magnesium crystals. A fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. Well, let's see what it tastes like. That's how drugs are to people. I really need to stop tasting everything I find now. of the initiation of a young woman into polite society. June 11, 1799. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. Mm -hmm. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. So the president, a vice president's daughter, um, is some part of a uh, ritual. There's a bed over here. Got everything in here. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you will be able to put all of this behind you one day. Mm hmm Chess with a half circle pattern. Come and get this royal jelly. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth 
prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Okay. Yay, cakes. I don't have any more. Well, that's not good. I'm intoxicated. So if I have too much of the royal jelly, you get intoxicated. That's wonderful. <sighs> found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Wow. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Hold on, let me look up. Oh. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Hello. You're Elizabeth Adams, aren't you? Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. Do you often fall ill like that? Yes, sometimes. But don't worry, I... I guess I'm kind of a frail flower. Maybe you were feeling hungry. No, it was nothing to do with being hungry. Fatigue, probably. I've been feeling more and more exhausted lately. Well, get some rest then, Elizabeth. Take advantage of the sea air and you'll soon get your strength back. Do you really want to know what made me ill? Last night... I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing, so I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I 
I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. Oh On my the contrary, god. You can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I oh, did I do it? Did I finally do something right? I swear to God. Good thing Since I went into our room. I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fits stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Riche concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. I bet Lord guess. Holm. That is he was awful. My last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Interesting. How many people heard that conversation? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. What can you tell me she about the guests? Us. <laughs> do Look at all the shit she been through, but kid. I'm bound by discretion <laughs> to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Do wow. please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir? God, you ain't telling no ho nothing. Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the grand hall. From the grand hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden, 
Okay. But, sir, may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Except my mother. Except my mother. Um, Java said to and took so the words right out of my mouth. Question. What's on the first floor? The first floor is reserved for guests, sir. That is where Sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways will enable Sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that Sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, Sir? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, Sir. In the west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help sir in any other way? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Bertha by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend Sir a book in such a pitiful state, Sir. I took it to restore. Mm. Oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any devil's thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the devil's thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Okay. You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. So you asked me to retrieve you stuff, and then you won't give My me good any? My fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. So you are no help whatsoever, sir. Oh shit. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? That admitted that. Uh, the Sorrows of Young Bertha by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. You were no help at all. <sighs> Alright, give me one second. I'm going to grab something to drink real quick. Dear 
friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not names. be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. He hasn't what joined us at all. Him? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Hi, friend. Pardon my call. I did not know. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place now. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to be here. Volner and Piaget seem to be getting along well. Surprisingly, no Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Croix Order, former Freemason, and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaget fawning mm. over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocols. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor. But London is much closer to <coughs> Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sudan, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. Oh, dear. I... Mm. I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. So she's very passionate about this orphanage. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. The first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through <gasps> Emily's hard shell. Oh. They have wine with breakfast. Is so everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. My lord, I only know the prestige of your name. <laughs> Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur Louis Moras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? Not really. <laughs> I am just a simple French citizen. Really? Oh, you see nothing like a commoner. <laughs> Especially compared to that wretch over there, Sheriff Ramil. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Mortimer has arranged to keep his family out of the harmful reach of Corsican monarchists. And that's not all. Mortimer and my mother have apparently agreed to deliver cannons to this Bonaparte. What? 
Since when was the order of finance wars? <laughs> Everybody questions that. What's this? What's yes. the order? This... And the fact you didn't know. I don't know. This storyline is very intriguing to me. I don't know why. Stranger. Thank you. Louis. There's no horror aspect to it yet, though. Me so I'm kind of disappointed. But hold up. So if you remember in Dragon Age Inquisition. Vivian, who is the baddest bitch of them all, she she's just phenomenal. She's the Grand Enchantress to um, Val Royale, is it? No, I don't know. I can't remember. But she likes to be part of this court, and the way they do the courts is kind of like this. They call it the game. And I love that part of the store, that storyline. So it gives, it's giving me that vibe. So I think that's the reason why I'm enjoying it so much. Could we speak in private, please? What is going on with your eyes, bro, bro? Look like you're high. Lord wow. Mortimer and the Golden Order. Who your mother have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for Clamens. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Shit, I guess. Absolutely. 50,000 Louis d'or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only 20,000 Louis d'or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about Damn that. Damn it. So, you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. The exact numbers may have escaped me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern. Someone who will restore her luster. I, I honestly don't know Once at again, this point. I might have lost this one. By all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and or at woman. the same time developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words. And oh, I thank God. <laughs> I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Ciao. Part, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted when to When did you. books become such a great gift? This, like I understand this man needs knowledge like and everything but you could have gave me some coin like some level Lord up Lord some xp something for bringing us all together here those of us for whom it is not the first time here like me are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host for the rest 
I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. I can't get over his ugly ass makeup child. D men really dress like that? Oh shit, I missed. Damn it. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer. Damn it. I wasn't paying Until attention. Then, I, trust you will I got sidetracked by the fucking used. makeup. I leveled up two times. Uh, a hoe is back in action. All right. No, hold on. Oh, you can level it up a lot. Okay. Conviction. All right. Politics. Is there enough to level all these up? To give me some type of oh because I haven't unlocked these yet that's why I do manipulation and what was the other one that I kept seeing recap before dinner i was going to investigate my mother's message i've got to find a place where all eyes size you up Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, uh, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. Mm -hmm. I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. 
that have Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead. What can I do for you? If I said to you, will all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Rue, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. Mm. You'll see it, Rue. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later. Your eminence. See you later, my son. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Space lip. I'll retrieve it later. Yeah, it's gotta make sure to grab out the royal jelly. We need more royal jelly in our life. Amber crystals. Oh my god, this library. Yes, puppy. out of an old encyclopedia. She also spoke of a Medusa. Should she go and try to find the creature now? Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alcudia. Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, receiving the Holy Family. A painting by Raphael. The Company by Rembrandt. A fragment of amber. A fragment of amber. Why does he say it like that? The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, 
Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Oh, hello, my dear sir. The devil's thorn. I'll keep it. trying to do with her the medusa a hero armed with a sword hmm a hero with a lantern <coughs> and the last one holding a shield i'll stake my life on it all the statues form a single scene together the poor devils are about to face the beast let's give them a helping hand In Greek mythology, anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who could protect their eyes. It can only be the hero holding the shield. Mm -hmm. The clue I found said, Beware of hero. The beast always charges the best protected. That is its weakness. That's the key. Best protected hero is the one holding the shield. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mother. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. Text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hmm, the mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword.
Sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me. You're becoming a nuisance. Wait a minute. Are you? You're not implying that I'm here to court you, are you? Oh, Louis, I'm just stating the obvious. You wouldn't be the first. Rest assured. Yeah, this is embarrassing. The worst thing is it. It seems to be working. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. <sighs> oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Okay, so we gotta help this bitch out now. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The gospel according to Judas, or how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room at the Lost Manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. Mm -hmm. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. found an amazing ring and there's an inscription engraved on it you're married why don't you wear a wedding ring you mean wear something just to prove your love not my style Ugh, your big booty is in the way girl Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workman 
craftsmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's a genuine article. Stop! Don't put your grubby, fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My God, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord player would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me oh my God, what the fuck is this conversation? So you can have your tutor executed. <laughs> Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Mm. Hold on. Is there a way? No, I guess not. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Mm. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So... Do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. We'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe we'll find something. Interesting. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in Oh God, in Lord Jesus. Oh, and I can't use it. You trusted me last night. My being in your room was a bit odd, I'll give you that. And you might have taken me for a thief, or worse, but I managed to explain myself, right? Look at us. I wonder what Mortimer would think if he found us here. Let's trust each other, Emily. We are partners in crime now. That I grant you. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. 
Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Oh, shit. That's... Damn it. Honestly, you don't seem to know all that much about the occult. I don't blame you. Not everyone can have bathed in it since childhood. But that's the point. You'd be doing yourself a favor if you trusted me. I'm sure I can be of more use to you than you think. I am a highly skilled member of the Order and in the service of the Queen. Do you really believe I'm a novice when it comes to the occult? Damn it. My I didn't think of that. Sorry to be blunt, but you don't know what you're talking about. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. God I damn it. A work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? No, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on. Don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Fuck. Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our Order communicates internationally. Shit. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouth? God damn it. A second ago I did. A little. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is not my partner. Fuck. Well, time is short. You haven't convinced me. I prefer to remain discreet. Don't take it the wrong way. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. It's time to leave. Why am I sucking so bad at this game? Ugh. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louie, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure, Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. I don't know. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. 
God. Oh. Why do I keep doing this? But I want to find out more about Emily. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The real question would be this. What exactly are you doing, Emily, in my room? I've enjoyed our discussions very much, and I had hoped that we could continue them. Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead, ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borschacht. You managed to steal something from him, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? My mother came here to find out who Von Bertrand planned on selling the book to. And did she find out? I have no idea. But I think she thought it would be someone invited to Mortimer's next party. You mean one of us here now? That's what I think. It wouldn't be you by any chance. Unfortunately, no. I was planning to steal it myself. Thank you for all this information, Louis. Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. <laughs> sure. Why not? Tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Hmm. 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 So, where is your pillows? Did they not have pillows back in the day? Lord Mortimer, Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet. Mm -mm. I didn't do enough to level up. Oh, and that ends. Finally, we meet Lord Mortimer. After several days, or not several days, I think it was two days. Yeah, so two days. Hold on, sorry. I have to get better at this game. I might go back through episode one to try to get Emily's secret out. I will not record it, unfortunately, but I will continue on the story on uh, with episode two next week. And by then... The answer should save and carry on to the next episode, so hopefully we get a bit more information. I need to do a little bit more of exploring. 
probably to get more information out of people and see because I am I'm struggling really hard on trying to make sure I answer the right questions. That Emily situation should not have went down like that. I should have remembered that she had a weakness. Um, but I am actually really invested in this story. I cannot wait till next Sunday to continue on to see what Lord Mortimer wants. The big question is still, what happened to my mom? And... Um... I, uh, we got to find out what's going on with Emily. Who's our partner? Um, we do know that she's, uh, she's looking for his sister who has also gone missing. Um, Elizabeth's daughter, or not Elizabeth's daughter, John Adams' daughter, Elizabeth, supposedly was, was announced stillborn, but apparently possessed. Choose a quest. Oh, so you can actually... Okay. Wait. Oh, so these are the episodes. Okay, got it. So I can go back through. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. So, um, let's see. We also have to figure out who our mother is. What does Lord Mortimer want with us? Um, what's going on with the priest? Like, uh, he just seems a little off with it. Like, I don't know. George Washington, on the other hand, he wanted me to help him with Elizabeth. So I think, uh, and I want to find out a little bit more information. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Maybe I should do another playthrough of this, choosing the options, just so we can make sure that we get all the right ones. Um, I don't know if me going back would undo my progress though in the levels i have to do a little bit more research on it obviously to see what happens but apparently the next episode we're entering with lord mortimer and having a conversation with him so hopefully we'll we'll see what's going on um but with that being said <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna rank Chiron and dip out. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your night. I will see you tomorrow during the day with Tears of Kingdom. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Let me go ahead and start this raid. Definitely not letting me raid for some reason. I think he turned off his raid. Mm. Oh well. I that's the only other person online tonight, so I don't know if Kyron turned off his raid. I'll have to message him and ask him. But yeah. Um my socials are down below, including Discord where I'm always chilling and vibing it up. And if not, I'm always in someone's stream talking shit and just vibing there. Um I'll be back tomorrow with Tears of a Kingdom. And uh, thanks, Ken, for coming in. And thanks, Ghost, for coming in. And thanks for everybody that was lurking in the background. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, but, yeah. <sighs>
Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go back and watch one more episode of Ghost Whisperer before I go to bed. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much again for turning up for this. Um, I'm really enjoying the story, and I can't wait till next week. But as always, love and loyalty always in a forever glitch. Have a good night, guys.